Hi there everybody, it's the whole universe, hope that everything is fine and I'm a Russian man who brings value to my own experiences and today we're gonna talk about the books and writing the books and uh, my ideas to, to, for writing books and uh, my current work on books. Yes, a lot of uh, words that are sounding as boobs and boots. And let's start with first. I already have written one book and this book is uh, interesting one and it is super short, like 17 or maybe two. Oh no. 26 pages uh, so short small the book designed to bring love it is called uh, I don't uh, recommend to buy it you know all the all the things uh, that inside of this book but maybe if you want to use it as a, an icon then you can buy it uh, if you want but uh, I highly recommend then paperback version it's about like uh, my quotes of life uh, my quotes value value values from my heart something like Super obvious in our like like if you want to be great then do if you want uh, if you want to hug someone hug and something really super easy to understand uh, the more you do the better you are this type of things I have read I have. Uh, written this book yes it is amazing and uh, right now I'm working on uh, several books first of all fantasy book it is uh, my map from a fantasy it is one of the prototypes of the map and here is uh, six worlds six worlds uh, RL Arel, Galivar, Arwalk, Ar Arqueas, Darkwas, and Nerevar. It is uh, six different worlds, and uh, we have already 31 different races inside of it, uh, different characters. Amazing, it is good. I'm working on it. It is fantasy. And also, I created three languages, and uh, it's good. And uh, next, uh, what I work on, it is my. Uh, my book about barista and by the way my first book i want to say that this amazing one that i previously said it is the best it is like magnus opum in uh, really in in the way of loveliness and something like this and uh, what will be better only in account of words in a mini it is magnus magnus opum of the smallest version of words that you can ever use like to bring value to other people like 27 pages and uh, on each of them we have a quote that is inspirational affirmational and uh, really like positive one that uh, we can say that it is truly positive and really like love and uh, do happy things daily and uh, Okay, it is about first book, about second it is about the fantasy, third book is about barista, magical ferret and also the homeless person. It is uh, kind of... Uh, I don't want to say that it's super fantasy, it is kind of a thriller plus a little bit of crime and also magic inside of it. It is a funny story, it is about the girl that she lost parents and she right now working as a barista and something happened not really nice and then it is a kind of a crossover of Ratatouille and also homeless person and the magical ferret and appeared here. I, I think that it is a uh, Ratatouille type story when the ferret helps to the girl to live next nextly but maybe something wrong with this ferret maybe it is he, he is a trickster maybe I we don't know and it is uh, the next story and uh, interesting I'm so excited to uh, say that it is wrong d uh, wrong uh, he, he is trickster or not a trickster this magic ferret okay and uh, this magic ferret was gifted by I mean that uh, this uh, magic ferret was gifted to the barista by a homeless okay next uh, what uh, I what I think to write and I have something like written I was writing about a about it a lot while sitting in a toilet and also in a suburban train I was writing I sometimes took my keyboard and write and think about things I even don't look at the screen I even don't connect to the Bluetooth sometimes I I only tap on my keyboard and thinking about what I'm writing and uh, about the next book it is uh, like super huge series about musical 
musical animals. Musical animals, everybody likes animals, I think so. And it is uh, more about marketing and also about... Uh, no, it is not about marketing. I love animals too. I like to communicate with them and uh, it is kind of... Everybody likes animals and I wanted to write a book about uh, animals and also about uh, the musical instruments. It is a rock band of animals and orchestration of animals. Like, I imagine, the panda who plays on a bamboo as as a, as a flute also imagine the the bumblebee who playing on his uh, sting as a cello uh, and also something like frogs who are playing drums and hi-hats and snares on their lilies on their pond amazing good and uh, I I started to think about this and uh, it is kind of happy nice and uh, it will be available to the children who wants to be who wants to be orchestral players and also to children it is children children like literature i think so and uh, in society it will be considered as a uh, children and as we all know that children literature it is for ho all people around the world for you for uh, for your chi for your children for 70 years old everybody can read children literature it means that this family friendly language will be inside of it and super like nice and good good things happening every day and every moment and uh, with these animals okay it is about things uh, that i write also i had ideas for kind of horror magical horror mystery mystery it will be more mystery not horror it is about uh, vampires it is adult mystery i i i mean that young adult uh, mystery it is about books vampires we have a book vampire we have normal books and uh, book vampires sometimes bite to the normal books and normal books can become a vampire book and then this vampire book uh, books can do hunting to people and this kind of hunting of book vampires they are do hu hunting during the night time they are going to your places to your houses and do biting you then people started to see that something happening in our houses something happening in our cities and they decided to do against this uh, they started to learn how to do how to how to kill this uh, vampire books and they found the fire they started to fire them and uh, in final they found that uh, we have kind of the lord vampire of the books and the lord vampire of the books uh, it is the most hardest person it is super hard to kill him and how to kill kill him only by using specific triangle by uh, normal books we use kind of a specific position here here and here it is so it will be triangle and after that need to to fire it only this way and not other and this kind of cage need to use a cage of normal books to make it good and uh, then finally it should be kind of a good happy ending maybe with a lord vampire book that it will become the good book and uh, like it will be metamorphosis it will be a kind of character like a transformation trope or we don't need to use trope like transformation yes personal transformation also about books uh, about uh, sexual asexual i mean that uh, sexy asexual asexual it is a person who is not interested in people in a way of sexual connection it is interesting book and i thought about it uh, during the communication with a girl who is asexual and uh, I mean, asexual, it is person who is not interested in sexual contact with someone. We have lesbians, we have gays, we have transgenders, we have uh, pansexuals, we have uh, like heterosexual, homosexual and things of this nature. And we have also asexual. Asexual, it is people who are not interested uh, in communication uh, of sexual way with some, uh, someone. And uh, sexy asexual means that we... It is a story about the person who is really attractive, but it is an asexual. I mean that person who is not interested in things of this nature and uh, how it goes, uh, the life of this dude. And uh, I mean the girl and uh, how it goes and uh, what will she do? 
because some moment it became a type of horror or a crime. It is maybe like a person from a mythical mythical world. You maybe remember when the shipmans you you maybe remember shipmen it is people who are on a ship like pirates of the caribbean but they are like not the pirates normal normal shipmen they are going on their ship like on their uh, on their uh, on on she yes she's uh, specific uh, specific vehicle to go on the water yes and uh, boat <laughs> huge boat and they're going on the water and then they found kind of uh, mermaids or something like mermaids like who are flirting with people and they they drown them to the bottom of the sea it is almost the same will be with sex asexual i mean that uh, the same logic we can compare it in a in a some way so next story that i started uh, to think about it and i have a lot of uh, personal experience in my childhood years i was talking a lot with people who are bullers and also who are non-bullers i mean that uh, who were bullied by the bullers and i was friend friend with both of them like i was communicating with them and with them i was kind of diplomacy person and uh, this story should be about it, like uh, diplomacy in a way of bullying. And uh, it is child, ch children book will be, but young adult. Young adult, it is about the boy who were friending with two types of people. With uh, bullers and also with non-bullers. And uh, who also, non-bullers were people who were bullied by people who are bullers. Like, it is... F friendship with uh, two sides, double agent, we can call it. It is logic of it, double agenting. Also, the thought uh, that I thought about it is uh, the hotel. I worked as an hotel doorman, as a, as the hotel doorman, and also in a five star hotel. And I thought about the black market black market businesses in hotels i thought about like prostitutes i about uh, some policemen and about some of the money and cash and dough and uh, dinero going out there and something like dirty things of the auto i thought about it to write i think that uh, we have a lot of literature about it at least i heard about it and uh, maybe it will be not uh, super like a uh, Every person, uh, every person will consider this book as an original or something. But I, it is based on my personal experience. That's why I want to write it, and uh, it is kind of <laughs> I found out that a lot of dirty things can happen, can be happened. But it is dirty things in the meaning of society, in the meaning of like human like it is uh, and the world, and in the meaning of God, it is uh, what happens in our world. That's all, and uh, we uh, should not say that it is a bad thing or a good thing. It is kind of what happens. That's all, and. Uh, in the meaning of the world, like we are looking at uh, the world as a uh, universe creators, okay, it happens. And okay, next, uh, what w I thought about uh, to create it is about animation. I mean, that I worked as, an, as a children entertainer, it's uh, I thought about kind of horror about it. This scientific horror like the person who are doing experimenting to the children no not really nice not really nice story you imagine like you are and but it is so so horror like really i imagine children a uh, children entertainer who does a lot of laboratory experience with children really super scary and uh, I don't want to start it because I'm so scared to start to write about it. No need to start it, need to forget about it, need to think about something else. And, uh, but Jesus Christ, so scary. It's like the the ice cream man who is going to your city and who looks like a really kind man, but uh, in a mini of horror story, it's super scary. And uh, also about some of the conspiracy theories because i'm so good at conspiracy and also i thought about uh, like student books how to improve your skills self-help books and something like this not super storytelling 
but uh, really useful for some people because uh, sometimes you need some something like f secret formulas to achieve something and uh, you need to read how other people do and maybe you can do the same and you will be more like confident in what you do because sometimes we don't need super super health uh, i mean that super self-help books how to do something we all we sometimes need a supporter who can show you the way how you can go but you can go to this way or to that way the more books of self-help you read the more you maybe know the ways where to go how different people does it means that you will be more confident but uh, in total you should go by yourself and uh, in total uh, self-help books uh, can help you sometimes not sometimes yes and okay it is amazing and also i already finished one book it's kind of uh, semi biographic biograph by bi biographical biographical and it is about math and uh, and uh, skills learning i finished it and uh, it is my second book that i finished ah oh, it is uh, oh jesus christ it means that uh, it is already i am working on my third book Yes, if we consider the book that first was published, uh, the book designed to bring love, I think that yes, because I consider is it is a small like it is an icon, it is a accessoire that you can use. I I think that yes, it is more like an accessory, motivational accessory. It is not a book; it is motivational accessory. More of it. It is like affirmations. We read it. We are inspired so it is a talk about ideas also ideas to write what can we write about about the future world about uh, the art i can write a lot about uh, exercises different types of exercises on piano on uh, on a guitar or on something because this is all about combinatorics i love combinatorics and uh, it is and it, it is entertaining me when I write exercises. It is kind of, I do something useful. Because some people really like to do exercises. And uh, they understand that they do the nice job. Because sometimes people, they are scared or something to... In, in the world, they are scared to create their own exercises. But when people does it, I like to be a shield to these people. Like, I created this uh, list of exercises, you can use them. You can follow them and uh, it brings value to them. I think so. I think so, yes. So, thank you a lot for watching this video. Improve so daily and go forward to your dreams. Also, I think that it will be good to write a book about... Uh, polit I don't want to say about political stuff, but in a meaning of not this world political, but in total about political, politology. It will be more like scientific like and maybe something about uh, psychology, but psychology it is super, super, up, uh, super subjective. But everything is subjective almost. Uh, except of besides of mathematics and uh, and dictionaries. Dictionary is not subjective, super subjective, because everything could be considered as different things. Because you read a word like, what's a human? Human is a body and also head, shoulders, knee, toe, knee, toe, and uh, something like this. But in a meaning of uh, so something can ask, what is a knee? What is a toe? And uh, for, I mean that dictionary is uh, really a good thing. But, uh, yes, dictionaries, I think that they are objective in some way. But we can see at them, we can look at them as a subjective thing. The same for math. You can use postulats. Postulats, it is specific. I think that I said it correct. Postulats, it is specific thing. Like when we consider one is a one, two is a two, three is a two, three. We don't think about this in the real world. Then I think that uh, mathematics is, sub is objective, is objective. But 
Some super smart and freaky people can think that it's subjective. Sometimes I think this way, but I don't want to consider it is a genius. I don't want to consider myself as a freak or something. Yes, I think differently in the meaning of a freak. A freak is a person who thinks differently, but genius thinks differently too. And mad people too, and psychopaths, and and like great people in the world, they think different too. And yes, yes, Len Leonardo da Vinci too, he thought differently, and uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ, so, okay, I, th I think that you understand it, I love this world, I love you, I love uh, everybody in this world, it is amazing to be alive, it's amazing to go forward, go forward too, and everything will be achieved well, and uh, go forward! Yes, if you want something to know in the comment section below, you can ask and I will answer to this. Maybe about books, maybe you have some your ideas that you can give and you can write, Igor, use this idea, I give you all the rights to this idea, <laughs> to this idea. Because sometimes I don't uh, like to use somebody else's ideas because I understand that this dude has created it. Then I should not use it. I will use my own idea, okay? I will create my own ideas and uh, I will use them. And I think this way. So, guys, uh, <laughs> you can leave in the comment section below your ideas about, like, what type of books I can create, what you want, and uh, you can say all rights for you. <laughs> like, uh, I give you rights and something like this, okay? But you can say your opinion. Your opinion is your opinion. So thank you a lot for watching. See you next time. Be cool. Bye-bye.